Okay, hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. Today we have a really special review for you from the brand Finch. Uh, essentially, essentially, Finch Knife Company uh, is a new uh, brand, uh, and essentially they specialize in adding vintage aesthetics to the modern flipper knife. Now their market segment does cover everything from entry level to mid range, and you'll see that of course, this being their first model, there are actually newer uh, ones coming down the line, but I think this one is very interesting, especially for a first uh, crack at this whole knife game. Now, um, this type of knife, I would consider it probably a gentleman's folding knife. Now, some uh, key common characteristics in design language, you're looking for that kind of gentleman's folding knife. Of course, you're going to want something that's sleek, um, understated in design, and then has uh, classy handle scales. And I think you do have a lot of that type of DNA here. Um, although I think there is a little bit of punch and personality, which is uh, pretty impressive. So this is the Runtley, and this is in particular, this is the Black Shiner. Uh, model so uh, looks pretty handsome there. Let's go ahead get it in hand for a closer look Okay, now before we get this piece in hand a quick wristwatch check We actually have the uh, Raven solitude here and uh, which uh, interesting thing um, Is that the guys behind Finch? Uh, one of them is actually the same guy behind uh, Raven watches so kind of a, a bit of a dual a uh, little action here, uh, seeing both on the same stage, I think is pretty nice. Um, so, really cool diver. Definitely keep an eye out on the channel. I'm actually I have a couple of loaners um, on hand, so I can show you a, a quite a bit of the variations that are available. I think this is a really cool uh, timepiece that definitely will appeal to that EDC uh, community. And I chose this one in particular because I think the color palette. Is, uh, is really, really great. And of course, I think will go well with the color palette here. So we do have the black model. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So this, as you can see, is very short and very stout. Um, you know, it's basically that modern gentleman's folder with that very stout aesthetic. And I think it does a really nice job of that, um, especially with that uh, really cool kind of cleaver sheep's foot blade. And then you do see, of course, some modern material there with the G10. And then you do have kind of an ode to kind of the old school by having that really cool badge, which actually um, glows, which is really cool. So we'll definitely uh, take a look at that. Uh, here in a bit. As you can see, you also do have a milled pocket clip, which is actually mounted right at the butt here, so really nice. Uh, it's not going to leave too much hanging out of your pocket. Uh, very stiff, so it's definitely going to keep it in place uh, in there, but it, you are going to have to really work it uh, to get over uh, your pocket there, but I think it has a really nice ramp, so I haven't had any issues with that. Now, as far as some of the details, you can get this bad boy um, at a street price of uh, $139 direct. So that's if you're buying directly from Finch Knife Company. I don't know if they're carried at other dealers yet, um, but I think they have a really cool and compelling product, so I would not be surprised. But um, their watches from Raven Brand are all sold direct, so I don't know, maybe they'll follow that same uh, type of business model, cutting out the middleman there. Now, um, a little bit more about this, of course, uh, the blade steel is Bowler N690 steel, so if you're not familiar with N690, essentially it's similar grade to something like a VG10 or a 154CM. Um, you know, uh, it's a couple years ago it probably would have been considered a very, very high-end steel, uh, but you know, with all the fancy new powder steels that are out there, um, there's definitely more exciting things uh, like, let's say, uh, even from the Bowler family, M390 is kind of the darling of uh, the knife community right now. N690 being kind of the reverse halo, being quite popular for more entry-level knives because it does have a really great balance of edge retention as well as, uh, of course, ease of sharpening uh, and then uh, corrosion resistance. You can actually also see that you're getting a nice little play of different finishes. You can see the stonewash finish there on that uh, on that main bevel, and then you get uh, the nice flat uh, brushing there uh, on the upper portion. And the spine is, I would almost say it's not quite crowned, but it does have a nice bevel. If we can get into it here, there's a nice little fine bevel there that goes all around the edges. So really, really nice. Now, uh, as far as 
the overall length. Uh, you know, all the information did fly across the screen there. It's about five and a half inches, um, and then you got a two point two five or two and a quarter inch blade. Close length comes out to just three and a quarter, so shorter than four inches, uh, which is really nice um, and very pocketable. And then the weight is a uh, three point five ounces, so not quite lightweight, but uh, I wouldn't call it heavy. Um, either so really I think nice balance especially um, you know in the hand a nice jimping here uh, for you to actually uh, when you're choking up for maybe some precision cuts I really do like this style with the flat of course one it's gonna be really easy to sharp especially with that beautiful sharpening choil but it also um, is great for you know draw cuts and whatnot so really really nice from a utility standpoint um, and then while we have this here uh, it's actually the box that these come in and I got a little surprise for you guys um, so you can kind of see how the packaging is because it's not you know of course the most uh, well-known brand because it's it's brand new really cool um, I thought that was a nice touch adding a little band-aid because you will you know probably cut yourself really nice um, little warranty card here um, basically money back guarantee for your satisfaction which I think is very strong um, and also guys this isn't an empty box this actually has the yellow variant so you can take a look at that as well so there are a couple of different color options available um, you're gonna have of course all of them with G10 but you're gonna have this is the yellow belly and then there's also a ghost green or natural jade uh, option uh, that's also quite handsome as well really nice I think this yellow really pops uh, especially if you're using it as a utility tool and you want to keep an eye on it um, oh man this one's action might even be a little bit nicer than the, than the black really smooth yeah, so really quite nice. So yeah, I did want to share that with you guys so you guys can get a little bit of a look of how this thing's packaged. Um, this one is, of course, a loner, um, so it's just extra, but I did want to show you guys that on camera because it's really, uh, really nice little package there. These are, uh, like I said, about 140 bucks. Um, so it's not the cheapest knife, but it's you know far from expensive when you think about what else is out there. Um, you know, in hand ergonomics, it gives you a really nice three finger grip, uh, quite comfortable in hand. Your fingers don't really wander, but you do get that, uh, you know, pinky that's going to be off the end there. But I think for what it is, it definitely gives you a ton. Uh, and then, uh, you know, of, of grip. And then if you want to choke up a little bit, you can actually sneak that onto there um, if you're gonna choke up a little bit and actually use this jimping here which is nice um, you know when it's closed you kind of see it and you're like well what good is this jimping right here um, it's you know customary to have it right there on the top of the flipper but this jimping actually comes in handy quite well when you have it uh, deployed there so really beautiful I mean that's a really handsome piece guys it kind of has that sawed off shotgun look to it there's just something that is really um, because of the stature of it and the stout nature it just feels uh rough and tumble but it adds a lot of um you know it has that straight edge look to it and of course you know some some older classic elements like the nail nick there if you do want to do a slow open um you know if you're in an area where people are going to freak out if you flip a knife out um and you want to just open it slowly and whatever um and not scare anyone uh, at your PTA meetings um, while you're uh, cutting uh, ribbon or, or whatever you end up might uh, be doing. Definitely be great for opening boxes and whatnot. Uh, nice and thin behind the edge. So this thing is really going to make quite a slicer. I haven't uh, had a chance to cut into anything yet, but I'm really, really digging that. Um, really just handsome and bold design. Uh, this the pivot here is actually on ball bearings so you are getting you know some some specs and some technology for your money um, so re really quite clean of course this is a liner lock um, in the pocket it, it although it's a bit wide if you look at it of course you know not not wider than something like a Delica so pretty close there uh, as far as the wideness goes and how much you're going to take up in your pocket, but it's actually really quite flat um, So it's it's has a really uh, unobtrusive uh, Silhouette there in the pocket now as far as like length goes I guess I could probably compare it see what I have close by that I can grab something like my Kaiser here um, my Yorkie 
So yeah, similar in length. Uh, it has that same kind of micro carry vibe to it. Um, but you know, I'd say probably the best comparison would be something like the Kaiser uh, Vanguard Mini Sheepdog, uh, where that would uh, have, be pretty close in spec to this one. I believe it's in 154 cm though, but it does have uh, the um, the G10 handle scales and whatnot. But I think that one, as far as like the look goes, uh, is definitely more contemporary. This has more, I think, of a clean kind of classic look. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily look like, uh, I, I, I don't want to say a cutting tool cause it definitely looks like a cutting tool, but it, it's, it has a more thoughtful design. Let's say it's not just, um, what would be comfortable for you to slice through stuff. This gives you a really nice touch of style. I mean, look at the way these lines taper. Um, that's, I mean, there's a lot of purposeful design here that I'm really, really digging. And then of course you still get some nice functionality at the same time, um, you know, with this beautiful jimping, but I'm really, really digging that two-tone finish on the blade. Really great, of course, because you got that uh, working edge. Um, you're going to have that nice stone wash. And then up here you get a nice little pull. Uh, let me do a quick little wipe there, some of the grease off. You do get that great finish there with uh, that brush. So really, really super handsome. Then you get this guy right here that glows. So let's actually uh, charge that up so you guys can get an idea of that glowing. We'll hit the lights here. We don't, why not get this charged up as well? And then uh, we'll hit the lights real quick. As you can see, oh, I probably should have closed the blade before it got dark. But as you can see, really cool. Uh, the BGW-9 Loom um, from the uh, from the watch. Uh, definitely you can see they're experts in Loom. So this is something that's pretty nice. It makes it a little bit easier for you to find your knife in the dark. And then of course, uh, if you're into dive watches, you know that Loom is a very, very big deal. Uh, especially if you're a fan of this channel. So really, really cool uh, to see that nice legible logo. Um, and at the same time, uh, it, it's it's a nice little thing, right? It's, it's blending the old with the new. So you're gonna have a nice little badge, very reminiscent of the, you know, of the little shields that be worked into, you know, something that was pinned together, it's a nice little slip joint. And then you also get a fully milled clip you're getting a modern steel um you know and it's it's not a, a by any means um you know a bargain basement steel it's, it's definitely a legitimate steel that you could get a lot of use out of a lot of sharpens and uh just a really quite premium little little piece there i'm, I'm really really digging this guy so definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below um you know for me it's really really this I love the style and the personality that kind of oozes out of this piece, you know, especially in a time where kind of there's just so an abundance of titanium frame lock flippers. You get something like this that um, almost has like kind of a custom feel to it. It just has so much cork and personality in it. I'm really happy to share it with you guys on the channel. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the video, please do a like. And if you're new, please subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks, guys.